This mutation is called Hello my old friend and it is being played on Scythe of Amon. We have three mutators active. We have Movement of Silence, we have Black Death, and we have Darkness. Overall, um, I think these, this mutator set is a little bit more annoying than it is difficult. Should not really be too difficult to handle, especially for a commander if you're playing something like Manx who can cheese this mission very, very effectively. So, should not be too difficult of a mutator set to deal with. Now, we have Borzun and Swan who are going to be dealing with this mutation set. So, let's have a look at the masteries. We have three points in the black hole duration, three points in the time stop speed increase, and three points in the Sphere of a Dune energy mastery. So, you can see here that the expectation is that time stop is going to be used to get a lot of free hits onto these void slivers throughout the course of the mission. And for Swan, we have the combat drop, the structure health mastery, and then the drill upgrade mastery as well. Now, Full disclosure, we have two prestiges here. We have the Swan Heavy Weapon Specialist Prestige and we have the Borzun Withering Siphon Prestige. Now this game that was sent was played on the previous patch. This is before these prestiges actually got buffed and that is kind of the reason why I chose to keep it and cast this replay because the procedures are actually a little bit stronger now than they were when this game was being played. So it was an overall buff and I, I don't mind casting old replays as long as it is a... It, it, the, the replays are showing a little bit more difficult circumstances. So, in this case the heavy weapons specialist prestige was buffed so that the laser drill slow had increased I think from 50% to 70% I think is what it is right now and the withering siphon prestige now affects heroic, unit, heroic units as well and the combat units deal 25% reduced damage instead of the 50% reduced damage that you see over here so these guys are playing on a little bit of a more difficult set of circumstances now there is something else that is of particular interest here, and this might be of interest to anyone that is thinking of using Warzone, is that the Withering Siphon Prestige is currently bugged, and it is also bugged on the year this current patch. So this current patch I think is 5.0.3, which is the Prestige buff patch, which broke Cigars, Masteries, and a bunch of other stuff. The bug here is that when the initial thing to note is that the Withering Siphon does not kill units when they deal, when they get hit by this dot damage of Dark Coil and any of Vorzoon's disabling abilities. But what's also interesting is that it seems to have also affected Black Death. So if your units get hit by Black Death, they will not end up taking the fatal damage from Black Death and will not end up emergency recalling back to your Nexus. So if you have Dark Templars and Oracles and Corsairs and any other cloaked unit that gets hit by Black Death, if they are cloaked, or if, even if they are not cloaked, they will not take that fatal damage and recall back to the Nexus, which is actually really, really convenient. Now, usually when you're playing on, when you're playing Borzun against the Black Death Mutator, you have to be really careful with your emergency recall, and there are a lot of other strategies that get utilized, such as destroying your main Nexus and rebuilding it somewhere else, or you know, rebuilding another Nexus somewhere and then rebuilding your main Nexus back where it was. And this was to prevent the emergency recall from kind of messing with your mineral line. Because what would normally happen with Black Death is you'd have a Dark Templar. The Dark Templar would get infected by Black Death and it would get emergency recalled back. But it only gets recalled back with 1 HP so it would die and instantly infect your mineral line and you'd lose your mineral line. So that was a very, very frustrating thing that happens with Warzone. A lot of people had ways of you know, circumventing that. But with the Withering Siphon upgrade, as it is right now, it is bugged and it, it is bugged with Black Death as well and your units do not end up getting recalled back to the Nexus and you do not actually end up dying through the Black Death dot damage. So that is also one of the things that is very convenient if you do intend on playing it. And I'm pretty sure it's a bug, I'm like 99% sure it's a bug and it will end up getting fixed in the future patch. But as is right now, and on patch 1.0.3, which is the current patch that we're playing on, I think it's 5.0.3. The current patch, it is bugged, and you can use that to your advantage. Hashtag StarCraft2Coop.com encouraging bug abuse. I know some people. <laughs> okay, 
So we have an oracle now that is parked over here and I believe its goal is to try and get vision of this next void sliver. And this void sliver can actually be focused down by the drill as long as you can see its shadow. So this is one of the very cool cheeses you can do on this mission is you just get a little bit of vision of that void sliver, you can, you can attack it with the swan laser drill and nothing will end up aggroing you. I think maybe just an oracle comes in and just pokes around and has a look to see you because you, know, you are cloaked and that's something you can use to take to your advantage. So one's heavy weapon specialist, prestige, it, it does deal splash damage with the laser drill, so you know with a black hole it does work really nicely in terms of synergy. You, you drop a black hole on top of the attack wave, get Swan to attack the Void Slugger, and you can actually end up killing an entire attack wave that's been trapped directly inside the black hole. You can see there's a Hercules over here. You have to be very careful as well when they are pushing in. They just need to get just enough vision so that they can DPS the Void Slugger down. If you move in a little bit too close, so, you know, the carriers and whatever other anti air units are here, they will start to aggro you and you will lose your stuff. So just being able to see that shadow is good enough so that you can actually take out that Void Sliver. And remember, this is the second Void Sliver on the map. And one of the things they are also taking to their advantage is the early stage of this Void Sliver is in. Now when I'm talking about stages, I mean how many other Void Slivers you have killed on the map. Every single time you kill a Void Sliver, the other Void Slivers on the map, they will spawn more Void Rifts, they will gain more abilities, and they will spawn more units to defend them. So. That's, this is why usually on speedruns, you focus on the... They do a reverse clear strategy where they clear these Void Slivers first because these ones are a lot nastier to clear the later stage of the game. And then they finally end with this one over here, which is much easier. And even though the defenders... Oh, one thing to also know is like even though the defenders on this one will increase over the course of the mission, it, they don't get as nasty set of units as you know, these ones. These ones will have like battle cruisers and carriers and all sorts of other stuff that you don't really want to deal with, this one will probably just have a few mortals and stuff. So this is why they do the reverse clear strategy, and this is why these commanders are actually focusing down on this void sliver first, because as they as they start clearing slivers, you're going to get more capital ships, and it'll become a lot more difficult to end up cheesing this. Unfortunately, those two siege tanks that were misrallied over there has caused enemy units to aggro the the automated assimilator here for Warzone, and you have some of these broodlings now that are pushing in, and you know you have to be again very careful with these broodlings. You have Disco Inferno on this hybrid destroyer. Hybrid destroyer does die, trigger the moments of silent debuff on the oracles, so the oracles can attack temporarily. And all that is left now is that one broodlord to be taken, and that broodlord gets captured. Oh, that's interesting. It has a plague debuff. I'm I'm thinking of a horse. I, I'm thinking of like. I'm thinking of a co-op Mythbusters kind of thing to test. It's like, what happens when this Broodlord dies? Clearly, Amon's units will not get infected by the Black Death Mutator. But I wonder if... I wonder if I wonder if your units will get infected by the Plague Debuff if your own Broodlord has been mind control dies. That's an interesting one. Stay tuned for the co-op Mythbusters episode that covers that there's a Death Crow Crystal that has just spawned there. Warzone has not noticed that Death Crow Crystal and it is going to start taking these units out. Is the Death Crow Crystal going to go down before this Oracle ends up dying? A couple of these Oracles do, do get killed off. And I think the rest of them, were, were they recalled back to the Nexus? I'm not really sure if they get recalled back to the Nexus, but a few Oracles have died there. And we have now a bunch of Siege Tanks and one Banshee has. Sorry to kill off some more of these siege things. Unfortunately, that Hercules also ends up going down, but this Void Sliver is pretty much gone as well. Oracles are going to try and take out that Void Rift. One of the things to also note that when you are trying to push into these Void Slivers is to try and focus down these Void Rifts. The Void Rifts will start spawning you, so it's very easy to... It, it's, a common mistake is to think, yeah, I'll just ignore the Void Rift, I'll just focus down this Void Sliver. You'll take a lot more losses if you do not close the Void Rift before before you clear the slivers because the units that will end up spawning, like you'll start getting battle cruisers and stuff spawning and you know, we all know how much fun battle cruisers are. But you can see here this oracle now is, let me show you one that's actually sitting at 1 HP here. So this one, it has a plague debuff, it's sitting at 1 HP, but it's not getting recalled back to the Nexus. So this is one of the really convenient things with the withering siphon prestige right now is that it is bugged. So this oracle is technically taking damage. It is, it, you know, it's still a one-shot. It's still gonna, you know, if it gets hit by damage, it breaks its shield. It will die, but it does not get recalled back to the Nexus, which is also really convenient. You see the drill now doing a lot of work here. That splash damage doing 
very nice amount of damage to the hybrid dominators and stuff. But the hybrid dominators still alive there. These siege things take a look around and they're like, nope, I am just going to back off here. Moment of Silence debuff does end up catching as well some of these hybrids and some of these oracles. I think all these oracles have been hit by the Moment of Silence debuff. It'll be a while before they come back up. I think it's 5 seconds, 10 seconds maybe, before that they are unable to do anything. And now the next bonus objective is going to get blasted out of the sky by the forces of Avon in this area, which is, again, somewhat unfortunate, but again, the bonus objective on this mission, not really worth doing because it actually pushes you out of tempo here. It does negatively impact you. You can see here this Dark Archon has actually been hit by the Black Death Mutator. The, the Black Death deals amount of damage that is proportional to a unit's HP. I think it's like 10% of the unit's HP or something like that. So, you know, an Archon that's only sitting at 10 HP, it, it does really, it, it works, it compounds really well with this Withering Siphon bug that exists right now. Because, you know, your Archons only have 10 HP, so the Archons don't really, don't really use their HP at all. It's usually their shield, and because Black Death doesn't actually hit, it does shield damage, your Dark Archons are pretty much at full efficiency throughout the course of the mission. Now, do note that when this bug gets fixed, if you do use Dark Archons, it's probably a 5 IQ idea instead of a 500 IQ idea. But as of right now, it is a 500 IQ idea. And you can see here a time stop snipe, just all oracles going Disco Inferno on the Void Sliver, and that kills off the Void Sliver very, very quickly with the help of Swan's Laser Drill as well. So, yeah. The time stop works really, really well. Gives a lot of good value for these commanders. And now all that is left is that one last Void Sliver. That evacuation ship still wants to go through. These commanders are going to be engaging, I think, the next wave. I think that Hercules was just trying to get some vision of the attack wave. But the attack wave is down here. Black hole right on top of there. And Swan's laser drill now is also aggroing the hybrid. You see, like, the splash damage from the laser drill, like, it's, it's doing really well. The laser drill has dealt a total of 28,000 damage right now. And units, damage dealt to units in Black Hole is about 12,000 damage. So both these commanders are using their cooldowns, or at least Vors is using their cooldowns. Swan doesn't have any cooldowns because he's using the Heavy Weapon Specialist Prestige. All there's left now is that one Void Slow that these commanders will have to push into. The Happy again, very careful. This one is going to be really tough. This fourth Void Sliver. It's, this one is Sliver number four, so it's not as bad as Sliver number five, but it's pretty much up there with like one of the more difficult slivers to clear at the end of the mission. And usually I try and clear that one as like my third sliver. I, I clear the expansion sliver, I clear the the main sliver, which is over here, and then I try and push it to sliver number four next, and then try and do sliver number five if possible. I try and clear in that order because, yeah, it, dealing with these difficult units is very, very unpleasant, especially when you have battle cruisers with, with the buff to the Yamato cannon, where, you know, it only, can, it only takes them like, what, one second to cast a Yamato cannon? Makes it very difficult. Just look at these. Look at all these detectors over here. There's a Raven and there's an Overseer. All of these are coming from the area around the map. There's probably something else that's moving around here as well. So I think I think all the Vorzun now is waiting for is just waiting for their time stop to come up. As soon as their time stop comes up, it should be pretty good. There's an attack wave that's already coming along the way, and Vorzun is going to be dropping some Oracle Stasis Wards to try and stun these enemies. There's actually a good number of Stasis Wards here. Does Vorzun have the Stasis Calibration upgrade? Of course they do have the Stasis Calibration upgrade. Hybrids spawn, hybrids get disabled, and now all these Orc... Oh, there's a very nice black hole on top of you. That laser drill is going to get so much value. Just take a look at that laser drill damage here. That laser drill is just murdering everything. But almost 40,000 damage dealt by that laser drill, getting so much value. And now time stop is available, and pretty much everything is ready. There's ready, there's a time stop that gets dropped, and now Oracles are just gonna focus fire down that voiceover, and that voiceover is pretty much gonna be a goner. And Swan's laser drill is not actually focused on the. It's actually focusing on the on sliver. There we go. It's focused on sliver. That sliver is gone before the damn cell even ends. Iman's forces are like, what happened there? Sliver is gone. These are all the void slivers cleared, and that is GG.